Welcome to our tutorial on setting up a basic ESLint configuration for a Next.js 14 project. We start by defining an object module exports, which is the conventional way of defining configuration settings in a Node.js module. In the ENV property, we specify the environments our code is expected to run in. Browser is set to true, indicating that the code will run in a web browser. Setting S2022 to true ensures compatibility with the latest ECMAScript features, and Node is also set to true to include Node.js globals and rules. The extends array is where we tell ESLint to use a set of predefined rules. ESLint. Recommended includes a core set of rules to catch common issues. Plugin. React. Recommended provides React-specific linting rules, and plugin. At next, next. Recommended contains recommendations specific to Next.js. In parser options, we configure the parser to correctly handle different syntax options. Setting JSX to true allows ESLint to understand JSX syntax. ECMA version is set to latest to leverage the latest ECMAScript standards. The source type. Module indicates that our code uses ECMAScript modules. Under settings, we provide additional information to our plugins. Here, we're instructing the React plugin to automatically detect the version of React used in our project. This ensures that the rules applied are appropriate for the specific version. With the plugins array, we can add extra linting capabilities. In this case, we're just adding the React plugin. It's important to note that any plugin mentioned in the extends array must also be included here. Finally, we have the rules object. This is where you can define or override specific rules. For instance, if you have a preference for double quotes over single quotes, you could add a rule like quotes, error, double, which would enforce this style in your code base. Now you're all set to lint your next JS14 project with ESLint.